Hey everybody, so really quick, we're going to look at how you can do French special characters on your Chromebook. First thing you want to do is enable the international keyboard. So down here at the bottom right, where you have the time and stuff like that, we're going to click down there and we'll go into settings, search language, and then we'll click on languages and input. And then down here where it says input method, I want to enable the US international keyboard. If it's not popping up right there, click manage input methods and you can find it in there. So I'm gonna enable that. And you can just close this box out. And you'll notice down here in the bottom right of your screen, now it's, instead of saying US, it says INTL for international. If you ever wanna change it back, you just click that. And right here it says keyboard and I can switch it back to US if I want to. So to do the characters, this is all you have to do. I want one of these accent marks. I think in French, we're looking at that one right there. We'll just push the apostrophe button on your keyboard, let go of it, and then push the vowel. So if I want this E, I'll push apostrophe, let go, and then push the letter E. If I want it to be a capital E, I'll just push the apostrophe and then hold shift and push E. To get this accent mark, the grave, I think, um, I'm gonna push this little guy first, which is up next by the one button to the left of it on your keyboard. So I'll push that. And then I'll push the vowel of choice and it'll pop up like that. If I want to get the diaresis over my vowel, I'll push apostrophe, I'm sorry, quotation mark, and then vowel of choice. And remember to do quotation marks, it's shift and then the quotation mark button, which is next to the enter key. If I want to get this little guy right here, the C, I'm going to do the right alt key, which is to the right of the, of the space bar. And then I'll push this guy and then this will pop up. And then if I want it capitalized, I'll do the right Alt key plus shift and then push this, one, this button right here, which is right above that Alt key and it'll come up with a big one. And then lastly, if I wanna get the vowel with the little hat on top of it, I'll push the shift key. And then this little guy, which is on the six key on the keyboard, right above the Y and the T. So shift that button and then let go and then push the vowel of choice and it'll come up like that. And that's it. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.